Evans, welcome to my channel, Social Care Connections. I hope you enjoy the video. So today I just wanted to talk a bit about um, the mindset that took me from not getting my first job that I applied for to then getting the second. And there was definitely a difference in the approach I took. The first time I went to apply for the job, I didn't actually realise how hard I'd find the interview. I suppose I just thought that, um, you know, I, I've got experience now, I've passed my degree, I'll go in there and it'll be fine. I walked in and it was like Devil Wears Parada, if anyone's seen the film, uh, just cold and like a massive building and then I went up in a lift and there was three people there and I just wasn't expecting like the level of intensity with all the questions and I just remember like speaking um, a mil million miles an hour and just wanting it to end and I just felt so unprepared. I got out of that interview and I went in the car and I just cried because I thought I'm never going to be able to apply for this council again. I've just, oh, I just never want to see those people again. <laughs> Later on that day, I got a call um, from one of the people that had been on the panel and they said that I didn't get the job, but I came second and I nearly like just fell off the chair. Like I just thought that she was going to say, and don't ever come back to this council. And she didn't. She said I come second and I, I told her I was shocked. Um, because I felt like I'd done so badly and she just said you know everything that I said were you could tell that I had a good value base and things like that but I was just so quick in the way I spoke that it was really hard for them to actually write down the answers I gave. <laughs> so the next day I decided to write down all the questions and answers that I gave and then sort of gave myself a bit of a framework for next time when I go for the interview. My second interview was just a completely different experience. I spent a lot of time preparing. I looked at the questions that I'd um, been asked last time and I really formulated how I was going to answer the questions. I thought about things like um, just the basic question of why do you want the role. I decided that I really needed to order my response and I, I took a load of time to write down all of my ideas on a big piece of paper and just like why I thought I should get the role. I started writing down case studies of where I'd dealt with conflict and where I'd dealt with other professionals and all the experiences that I'd had or like all the key cases, I started writing down and then I matched them up with bullet points of the key parts of the questions I needed to answer. And then I looked at the person's specification and started matching my own skills with what they were looking for. And I ended up getting it in a way that my case studies were so solid, I had like five or six ready that could fit into whatever question was asked. And that just helped me so much with my confidence. And I went into the second interview just thinking, well, it could not go worse than the first one really. So I have nothing to lose. And I think that mindset actually helped me. And I also put some strategies in, like um, I sat in the car, just for like half an hour on my own, just to make sure that I'd have enough time to really relax and think about how I was going to um, go into the interview and I just took a breath before I spoke and I made sure that I drank the water that they gave me. Um, and I also thought about, the well, I, I thought about this um, since, but um, I think there's always a power imbalance in situations like that and I think what I'd underestimated from the first time was how intimidating it can feel when you feel like you're being intensely judged and I think it's easy to think oh you know we all go for interviews it'll be fine but I think you just have to acknowledge that they are really hard like interviews are hard we're not used to being under that level of pressure and that level of scrutiny. Like we're going to social work to help other people, but then all of a sudden we're having to talk about ourselves and yeah, it can be difficult, but I definitely think there's a way of um, organizing your thoughts before you go in. So that's kind of been my motivation to get together a load of videos to help people as much as possible. And I'll be continuing to develop these as I go along because I just don't want anyone to feel how I felt.
If you enjoyed the video, please can you like and subscribe and press the bell if you'd like to be updated when I put out more videos.